Presidential candidates are preparing this morning for the upcoming Kansas caucus. After Super Tuesday, it seems like Donald Trump is the favorite GOP candidate. But does he face some serious competition from Ted Cruz? And on the Democratic side, is Hillary Clinton in the place she wanted to be? Brooke Lennington sat down with KSNT News political analyst Bob Beatty. After last night's rollout of the Super Tuesday primaries, it was obvious that Donald Trump, not just a front runner, Bob, but also a favorite. Yeah, I mean, Donald Trump had a, actually a fantastic evening. You know, he didn't win every primary and caucus, but he won a number of big ones and he won a lot of delegates. People around the country are still trying to get their minds around the idea of him as a front runner. Really, he's beyond that at this point. He now has more delegates than many front runners of the past at the same point, and he is the clear f favorite for the Republican nomination. Yeah, but let's not forget, it wasn't a clean sweep for no. Trump. I mean, we know Senator Ted Cruz, he also had Oklahoma and his home, home state of Texas. That's right. You know, an interesting thing about that, Brooke, is that if Ted Cruz had actually lost and not won uh, those primaries, there would have been some pressure for him to get out of the race. Instead, I think he will keep going and we'll keep seeing this three-person race of uh, Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and Marco Rubio, and that is a big advantage for Donald Trump. He can keep winning these primaries, keep 40 percent of the vote. So, oddly enough, you know, Cruz, by Cruz winning, it actually helps Donald Trump. And switching to the Democratic Trump. side, Hillary Clinton, is she now in the exact place that she wanted to be? Yeah, you know, a number of years ago, this is where everyone thought Hillary Clinton would be. She hit a big bump in the road with Bernie Sanders there in New Hampshire, but she had a big night as well. However, they uh, proportioned delegates proportionately, so it will take quite a while for her to get enough delegates to seal that nomination. All right, and as we know, the next stop is Kansas That's this right. Saturday. So get out and vote.